In today's Two Americas report, we're going to introduce you to two men who've been released from prison who share a common passion, art. It's something they say saved them while they were behind bars. 7 Action News reporter Amira David takes a look at how that art program is underway for almost three decades and how it's changed countless lives. It was one of the worst times of my life. The last time Stephen Campbell was on the news, he was facing 30 years in prison. This time, the story a little different. And I'm making an impact on a good way. After seven years served, Stephen was released last year. No money, no job. His parents both died while he was behind bars. But what Stephen did have was a paintbrush and a community. Without them, I wouldn't be doing anything right now. When Stephen first heard about the Prison Creative Arts Project, or PCAP, he saw it as a financial lifeline. $50 here, $75 here. Prisoners could get their art evaluated by University of Michigan staff, who'd then help them sell their pieces to the public through various exhibits. These are my hands reaching out with my heart. After doing his first piece, he'd realize it was more than a quick cash opportunity. That went out, this to, went the, out. to the world, yeah. and what kind of response did you get? I got children telling me how much it resonated with them. Art is, in any form, is about creating meaning. If people don't have meaning and purpose in their lives, they may turn to destructive behavior. Janie Paul is a co-founder of PCAP's annual exhibitions and author of the upcoming book, Making Art in Prison, Survival and Resistance. Over the 27 years the project has been running, she says she's seen the prisoners develop for the better. These are pictures of the art you did. Yeah. Such is the case with Sergei Kachenko. Drugs and alcohol and uh, unhealthy behavior my whole life. That was my way to cope with feelings and suppress them. And now I had a ability to see them and put them on paper and actually uh, Get them out. And Get them out. Sergey went 25 years without touching a paintbrush, but when he picked one up in prison, this is what poured out of him, a voice he didn't even know he had. Once I started using it, I just don't know how I lived my life uh, before this. Today, Sergey and Steven have sold countless pieces, making complete strangers think, feel, or even smile. For the public, it's not always easy to empathize with those who have broken the law. Do you think when community members are viewing this art, it really pushes them out of their comfort zone? We know that this the, the exhibit brings up a lot of thoughts and feelings, but our view is that we have to see people in their complexity for anything to change. The biggest change of all is that these ex-inmates now believe in themselves. What did this program do for you? It gave me hope. And it gave me more gas to go. It gave me, like, a reason to go. And it gave them faith in a second chapter with a blank canvas. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. And today, both Stephen and Sergey are working, but plan to continue making their art and sharing it with the community. If you're interested in learning more about the Prisoner Creative Arts Program, head to our website, wxyz.com.